physical hydraulic modeling is a design technique used by engineers to optimize the structure design to ensure the safe operation of the structure and to facilitate the decision-making process. In the physical model, the flow conditions are said to be similar to those in the prototype if the model displays similarity of form, of motion, and of forces. When the same fluids are used in the physical model on prototype, the pi buckingham theorem implies that the two most relevant dimensionless parameters are the Reynolds and Freud number. In flow with a free surface, such as an open channel flow, gravity effects are always important, and a fraud number modeling is applied. That is, the fraud number is identical in model and in prototype. A distorted model is a physical model in which the geometric scaling ratio is different between each main direction. For example, many river models are usually designed with a larger scaling ratio in the horizontal than vertical directions. A classical example of distorted model is that of the Mississippi River, built by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The Mississippi River Basin is about 3 million square kilometers, and the river is nearly 4,000 kilometers long. An outdoor model was built with a scale of 2,000 to 1, with the same scaling ratio applied to both vertical and horizontal direction. The model depth would be about 3 millimeters, for which surface tension and viscous effect would be significant and measurement errors would be important. The Mississippi River model was built in fact with a distorted scale, that r equal 100 and x r equal 2000. Altogether, the physical model size was about 1.5 km by 2 km. Another example of distorted fraud modeling is a physical model of the Hangzhou Bay on Chantan River Estuary in China seen below. The horizontal scaling ratio was XR equal 1000, the vertical scaling ratio was 100, and the time scaling ratio was 100. When the gravity acceleration is constant, a distorted fraud scaling implies that the ratio of the velocity scaling ratio divided by the square root of the vertical scaling ratio equal 1. A distorted fraud scaling model is used with the following basic scaling ratio. Note in particular that the longitudinal slope, theta, differ between the model and the prototype. In addition to the economical and practical benefits, the distorted scale fraud similar models have some additional advantages compared to non-distorted models. The flow velocities and turbulence in the model are larger, the time scale is reduced, the model Reynolds number is larger, improving the prototype to model kinematic and dynamic, dynamic similarity. On the largest vertical scale, I allow a greater accuracy for the flow depth. Practically, the model distortion, XR over ZR, should be less than 5 to 10. A fraud number modeling is typically used when friction loss are relatively small and the flow is highly turbulent is also used for large waves. A main concern is always the potential for scale effect induced by viscous scorf forces. And the distorted fraud similarity may assist to reduce the risk of scale effect. The modeling of flow resistance is not simple. Often the geometric similarity of frothness height and spacing is not enough. For a distorted fraud similar model, the following flow resistance scaling ratio must be fulfilled. Importantly, the full scale flow is nearly always turbulent and the model should also be turbulent. The design of distorted fraud similar physical model follows five basic steps, starting with the selection of the smallest horizontal scale ratio to fit the footprint of the laboratory, then to determine the possible range of vertical scaling ratio ZR with a constraint linked with the maximum discharge available in the laboratory, also another constraint linked to the feasible flow resistance, and the model Reynolds number must be greater than 5 to 10,000 for the smallest discharge to be investigated. Finally, the distortion ratio must be checked. 
if this constraint cannot be fulfilled, a smaller horizontal scaling ratio must be selected, hence a larger horizontal footprint in the hydraulics laboratory. This movie presents the physical study of a bridge in New Farm in Brisbane, along the Brisbane River. The site was located in estuarine zone of the Brisbane River, and the physical tests were undertaken in 1973. The bridge was 600 meter long with four spans, and two piers were situated in the Brisbane River. The physical model was a fraud scale study with a horizontal scaling ratio XR equal 240 on a vertical scaling ratio ZR equal 48. The study included consideration for sediment transport on mobile bed as well as resistance to ship impact. Two main flow conditions were tested a normal tidal discharge and an exceptional flood up to 6,650 cubic meters per second. The video shows the location of the new farm bridge in the physical model. The flow around the bridge pier was investigated, including using dye injection around each bridge pier as well as along the outer bend, that is the right bank. <laughs> 